Welcome back, Life With Us TV, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. In today's video, we're gonna talk about 14 of the worst packing mistakes that first time cruisers seem to always make. Making these mistakes can cost you undue money, undue stress, on what would otherwise be a seamless vacation. Y'all wanna learn about it? Here we go. The very first thing that you need to keep in mind is you need to have the proper luggage. Yes. And what I mean by that is you have to have luggage that's identical to your personality and your packing style. What that means for me, I am a carry-on only girl, but I can only do carry-on soft-sided luggage. I cannot do the hard-sided luggage because I need my luggage to have a little bit of give to yeah. it. I like to overpack even in a carry-on, so I need that luggage to be able to grow with me, to be able to handle the souvenirs that I may want to bring back for my family and friends. So if you're more of a strict type of packer and you don't overpack, maybe a hard-sided case that doesn't have as much give or in as much flexibility mm -hmm. as a soft-sided case could give you, that may work for you. The second packing mistake you want to avoid as a first time carnival cruiser is you do not want to put any of your valuable items in your check luggage. For instance, your money, your wallets, your purses, your IDs, your passports, your boarding pass for sure because you definitely want to get on the ship. Right, that part. So basically anything that you don't want to be stolen, I'm going to tell you, please. <laughs> Don't put it in your check luggage. Say stolen like this. Stolen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the third mistake that most first time cruisers make is packing banned items. Carnival has an entire list, which I will link below, of all the items that you cannot bring on board. The yeah. list is lengthy. Some of it I feel like is a little obsolete, but for instance, you can't bring your open flame candles, your incense, and I know if you're spiritual, sometimes we like to do the candle and incense thing yeah. when we're praying or whatever, but you can't bring it. It's a fire hazard. We're not gonna test God like that. We're not gonna test Mother Nature like that. <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna have to do that kind of stuff when we get home. Also, you cannot bring weapons. And when we think about weapons, we immediately go to guns, guns or knives. Right. But you also have to not bring your tasers, your pepper, pepper spray, spray, things like that. That stuff can get you into trouble. You can't bring your power strips with the surge protector on it. Those banned items, as soon as they are detected, will be taken. Hard liquor is also a part of that. No, you can't bring your cause light. No, you cannot bring, <laughs> bring your, your innocence. innocence. You can't do it. <laughs> So go ahead and make sure you're familiarized with the banned items list so that you don't pack any of that stuff. The fourth packing mistake you want to avoid as a first time carnival cruiser, please do not put your medication or your medical equipment such as your CPAP machine in your checked luggage. That's right. Right, because you don't want, it's just say for instance, your luggage gets stolen you ain't got no medication, and you ain't got no CPAP machine. And the one thing about it, you gonna wanna get some good sleep on that ship. And your roommate too. Make sure those items are in your carry-on. The fifth mistake that most first-time cruisers make or do not think of is that each ship has an elegant night. Yes. They have at least one. If you're on a seven day sailing, then you're going to have two. But make sure that you bring an outfit or something that you're gonna feel a little bit more jazzed up in. Yeah, I'm not I... saying go full glam, full ball gown. We we do it because we look extra. <laughs> but some people, that's not their thing. But make sure that you are dressed appropriately so that you can just at least blend in and sit into the dining room. You don't want to come to Elegant Night. You don't want to be that person that shows up with your blue jeans, shorts on, and your yeah. ripped up t-shirt. And also, uh, a golden nugget to throw in there for you that we did on our past cruise uh, Oh yes. was we took advantage of the laundry service where we was able to get our clothes, our formal night clothes pressed. Ooh, game oh, changer. Game changer, and it was only $10, y'all. For so, three pieces. Yeah, got my shirt pressed and my pants and her, and my uh, dress. And her dress. So yeah, if you want to try that out, man. So that way, because one of the things we used to do is try to make sure your clothes is ironed real nice in your spray luggage. Spraying it down. Yeah, spraying it down with downy spray or waiting them long A lines for the laundry, laundry station to iron your clothes on formal night. So that's a way of avoiding all of that. So yeah, on your next, on your first cruise or your next cruise, try out the laundry service, man. You won't be disappointed. Gotcha. The sixth packing mistake you want to avoid as a first time cruiser is not to forget your carry-on. Cause I know we can be so caught up in our main luggage 
is that we don't think about a, our carry-on. And what is a carry-on? Carry-on is like a backpack, duffel bag, stuff that you can put in your bag that you can have regularly access to, such as your cell phones, your wallets, your money, your boarding pass, or anything, or your swimwear, yeah, anything that you want to take advantage of as soon as you get on the ship, you want to put those in your carry-on, which is also, I forgot, your, your wine, man. You want to put your that sodas. in your sodas and all that stuff. So please don't forget your carry-on. It's very important. You want to have that. The main reason you want to have that carry-on is because you don't have immediate access to your room. So most time the rooms don't come to available until around about like 1.30. Mm -hmm. So if you get on the ship, you know, it's 10, 30, 11 o'clock. It may be two, three hours before you even get to your room. So it's good to have access to stuff you need in the present while you wait. <laughs> the seventh mistake that most first time cruisers and experienced cruisers make as well is we forget about our small bills. Yeah. Like we're getting prepared for this cruise. We're thinking about sign and sale, funding that card, doing, but we're not thinking about the cash that we need to have as well. You'll get ready to go into port. You'll get ready to get on the ship. And I'm gonna tell you when you're gonna need your first means of small bills. Yeah. That happens right at port. Now, if you're like us, we charter transportation to a port, which means that we tip our driver on the way there, but yours may start right at the port. Or when that person grabs your bag to put it on that cart to get your, mm, your ownership. Yeah. You want to reach in your pocket and tip them. It's customary to be like three to five dollars per bag. Us, we usually, cause we overpack, especially if we're at a home port. Yeah. We just pull out a 20 and just give it to them. <sighs> yep, lay it right on them. And lay it on them. So, the money talks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And booze get walks. So, you got some <laughs> Hennessy in there? Let me stop. <laughs> But hint, hint. All right, if you enjoying these tips, go ahead and smash this like button so the algorithm can send this video to other first time cruisers so they can not make these packing mistakes, man. The eighth packing mistake you want to avoid as a first time cruiser, and a lot of people can make these mistakes very, very easily, mm -hmm. is by bringing items with heating elements, man, such as your irons and your steamers. Matter of fact, uh, I think it was like a few weeks ago, somebody put in, the com in their comments, they said, I brought my good iron and, they, and they, took took my, they took my good iron. So yeah, please don't bring any items in your suitcase or carry on that has an e heating element, such as also I almost forgot heaters. Don't bring them either, man. <laughs> it's hot, why are you yeah. bringing the heater? <laughs> Let me stop. And also, do not get it mistaken. Carnival will allow you to bring your curling iron, your flat iron. You can bring your hair dryer if you wish to do that as well. They're considered to be one of the safer methods of heating elements, so they will allow those on board. But anything other than those, you cannot bring. The ninth packing mistake that most people do, including me, and I experienced. <laughs> we don't prepare for the rain. We don't prepare mm. for bad weather, no. which means no umbrella, no raincoat, no, no poncho, no nothing. Last cruise that we just came off of, it stormed like nobody's business on our first port of call. Yep. Guess what we did? We circled the block and got right back <laughs> yep. on the ship <laughs> yep. because we were not prepared to be outside of those elements. Prepare yourself. Don't do as I do, do as I say. That's what parents say. I'm, yep. I'm parenting you right now. Bring an umbrella <laughs> and a raincoat <laughs> if you won't be outside. And y'all, y'all see our shirts, right? Mm hmm, mm hmm. I love yeah. my husband. He supports mandatory, mandatory vacation. Vacation. I know y'all thought it said something else. Carnival required, but anyway. Um, <laughs> if y'all are interested in our t-shirts, we always have a link below. Also use my code Lynette, L-Y-N-E-T-T-E. -E. Saves you 25% off of your entire purchase. Let's yeah. get into the next tip. The 10th packing mistake you want to avoid as a first time cruiser is not bringing a sweater or a jacket. Cause yeah, she pointed at me. Yeah, cause I, yeah, use the eye enough for getting that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, because at nighttime out there in the Caribbean's on the water, it can get a little cool. So if you know, if you cold natured and you get cold real fast like her, yeah, you definitely want to make sure you have something you can put on your own homes, man. <laughs> <laughs> the 11th mistake to avoid, and this is a critical one. Either we underpack or we overpack. 
Yeah. There is a delicate balance, balance that we need to learn. We're going to actually do a video, which will be the next video after this video, teaching you all how to create that balance when it comes to packing. But we'll also link our packing list, which is interactive, where you can go through and look and see some of the things. Because here's the thing. You have to pack, just like I said for your luggage, you have to pack according to your personality. Right. If you are a person that's going to the Caribbean, but you know you're not getting any water, we're not going to pack things that's going to aid us in being in the water. Right. You're just wasting space in your luggage that could be for other things. Then if you are a person that likes to, to be a minimalist, Right. Sometimes you, you're trying to scale back so much that you forget to pack some of the important things or the amount of important, important things that you yes. need to make your me. <laughs> I always pack like I'm going to skit on myself at yeah. least 10 times. She take about a hundred pair of drawers, man. This last cruise, <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, I, can I let y'all in on a secret? I had to, I had to wash. <laughs> to wash like what is going hey, on hey but don't feel bad i end up under packing all my shirts yeah. because usually usually on the cruise each day i walk around in my tank tops but this time i decided to put on the t-shirts all the time so by the time we got to like day three i was like babe i ain't got no <laughs> more t-shirts all right we know that you were in the process of researching for your first cruise and if this thing is still overwhelming stressed out and you still can't figure all this stuff out you can hire my queen as your travel agent and she can help you through this whole entire process. If that's you, you can visit our website right here, this website right here, and also down in the description, you can click on that and we definitely can serve you over there. The 12 pack of mistake you want to avoid as a first time cruiser. I know you not excited or maybe excited for disembarkation day. So they usually tell you the night before that you need to put your bags outside of your cabin just in case you want them to come through and pick it up for you that night so you can get it in the morning so you ain't gotta huff all that skit down the elevator. Oh my God. But please don't forget that you need an outfit, dog, <laughs> And you need your pajamas for that night to go to bed unless you like me and, and, sleep, and sleep in your birthday outfit. But yeah, you want to make sure <laughs> <laughs> you want to make sure that you have an outfit out for the next day and your sleepwear if you wear and it at night. And your toothbrush. Yeah, that too. But we, we we need to talk to you. Yeah. So uh, we've heard stories of families coming down on deparkation day and they have a job because they're like, well, what do I do with these? Yeah. So don't don't be that don't be that guy or that girl or that family. Please. Because I'm going to record it. <laughs> the 13th mistake. Listen at me and listen at me good. Because we have been that person and it's embarrassing. Yeah, man. Bring a luggage scale. Just go on Amazon and buy one. They're under 10 bucks. And have it stored away in your luggage. And the reason for that is if you flew into a port, you have to fly back. Yeah. Some of your clothes might be a little heavier because now they're soiled. Some of them might be wet from, you know, going. Or, or you bought or a, whole, you lot bought of a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> you need to be able to get on that plane and not pay for your, your luggage being overweight. Yeah, we've we, we, we been there. We were coming back from Jamaica. Yeah. And we almost had to pay $100 because yep. our stuff was overweight. To us, it didn't feel like it was overweight. It, I didn't feel like we brought a lot back. But obviously we did. So we were in the middle of the airport. It, with our, all our luggage open, all our drawers and <laughs> socks and shoes all laid out. And we switching bags. And we switching, putting stuff, stuff in away. our carry-on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just so that we didn't have to pay $100. Yeah. It's, so very, it's very stressful. So yeah. Spend $10, save yourself one. 100 Yeah. And just go ahead and get a luggage scale. Yeah. The 14th packing mistake you want to avoid as a first-time cruiser is leaky items. I'm telling you. We dealt with that so much when we first started traveling because you it felt like out. you felt like my shampoo or my lotion or mouthwash. my hand mouthwash that is screwed on real tight. What you don't consider is that your bag gets thrown around. So it could bust all that stuff open. So we always highly recommend putting anything that can leak inside of a Ziploc bag. 
and double bag it yes. just to be careful. Just yes. Be if you enjoyed this video, you want to check out this video next to top 40 things that smart cruisers always pack. And we're going to catch you in the next video. Peace.